Hi and welcome to my tutorial for Windows 7. In this tutorial we'll be installing Java and then getting the JWildfire flame generator running. I know a few people have had um, a few issues with that. Uh, well, first of all we'll open a browser and type in Java. Click the download link. Uh, it's java.com that we're going to. This particular button is a web installer and it will download a small program about 800k and then it will launch that program and then go and get the files that it requires for your operating system. This generally I think installs the 32-bit system. If you have a 64-bit system uh, you can click on the all Java downloads uh, and install a 64-bit system uh, information about 64-bit Java plugin uh, you can read that at your leisure and you should be able to install the 64-bit version you can also install the 32-bit version if you have 64-bit. But for now, we shall be installing the 32-bit version. You can find out how to how you sorry you can find out how to find out if you have a 64-bit or 32-bit by clicking on the libraries icon, right-clicking on computer properties, and it will tell you here 32-bit operating system. Uh, or it will say 64-bit operating system. So we'll close those down and I will just continue with this install. And double click. Say yes and install. While it's doing that we can do a Google search for the She Wildfire website so that we can download the package. Uh, Some useful tips on this website so have a little browse uh, this is the latest version we save it and it should save to downloads comes up page off this is pretty much as straightforward as it will probably get it shouldn't be a difficult program to to install or run. Uh, some people may have to update uh, their graphic card drivers. I had a little tip from uh, one of the users of JWildfire, Tammy, and uh, she had a, a few issues. We tried to sort it out, and eventually, I think she sorted it out by updating her graphic drivers. So you may just want to check that first. Get the latest drivers. In a short while I'll show you how to find uh, the link to your Java and also how to add a line into something called the environmental variables. Uh, basically it's just telling programs that use Java where exactly Java is. So once Java is installed uh, we can go to the zip file. I've already unzipped it. I'll delete that one and get rid of that one. 
and then I right click on this, extract all, show extracted files when completed, yes. Get rid of that page. Right, these are the files that are required to run JWildfire, and all you really need to do is double click on the launcher file. Um, installing 32 bit and 64 bit uh, Java, you will have an option here. Um, normally, if you have a 64 bit operating system, it will say program files space brackets x86 that's the 32-bit driver but because I have a 32-bit operating system um, it doesn't say that, doesn't need to say that now I click on start Oops. it normally comes up with this little page here official website which will take you to the website that we downloaded the uh, file from the, fault, uh, the program sorry updates will take you to the latest updates donations yes please donate to Andre's uh, fund he spends an awful lot of time on this um, it's a very detailed program and I think he deserves it so donate what you can you don't have to donate it's free to use but I think you'll appreciate exactly what goes into making this program and um, I'm sure you will want to donate. The user community will take you to the Facebook page where there's a very enthusiastic community um, dealing with fractals and you'll make a lot of good friends there so by all means go and join that. The About Flame tab will tell you about flames and um, what they are uh, that will download a PDF file. YouTube videos to give you a bit of inspiration on, how, on what to do and how to use the program and also some PDF tutorials that will also help you and guide you through making a fractal. Oh, sorry, a flame. I'm sure someone will pull me up about fractals and flames. Uh, so you click enter. Oh, minimised it. And this is the screen that you'll get. By default, it will generate three random fractal uh, flames, and you can double-click on e any one of these, and it will bring it up in the uh, the center box. You can double-click on the actual image, and it will automatically do a, a render, a quick render. You can also click this button, which will do exactly the same thing. Uh, it will do a quick, quick render of the image. beautiful that is. I might save that one. Um, you can also do random flames here and this will generate about 24 random flames and you can scroll through them. Uh, there'll be a scroll bar here when it goes off the edge. You can scroll through them, pick a flame that you want to work with and start adjusting all the parameters, all the settings to see what you get. When you find a masterpiece go onto the Facebook page and post what you've done. Um, I hope that helps you. Uh, the other little bit, the in, the other part of the, the problem some people have is that it doesn't work, they get an error. And you can find the Java location by going to this folder and then bin. And this points to a file called Java W. If you click here, you get a link that you can copy. You right click, left click to copy. I go to computer, right click on that, uh, properties, advanced system settings, environmental variables. I want to go under system variables. I want to create a new variable and type in path in capitals and then in this one we want to paste what we've just copied and then click OK. I hope you enjoy the tutorial and I hope you enjoy using the program.